Wake up people, we're diving headfirst into the world of personal finance today, exciting isn't it? You might be thinking it's as thrilling as watching paint dry but, hold on to your hats because this ride is about to get wild. Personal finance isn't just about counting pennies, it's about mastering the art of balancing your income, expenses, savings, and much more. It's about understanding the components that make up your financial world and how they interact with each other. We're not just talking about simple budgeting here, we're talking about the seven essential components of personal finance. These components are like the different instruments in an orchestra, each playing its part to create a harmonious financial symphony. When they're all in sync, you're on your way to achieving financial stability and success. In this video, we'll delve into each of these components, exploring their roles and how you can make them work in your favor. Whether you're a financial novice or a seasoned pro, there's always something new to learn. So buckle up, because we're about to embark on a roller coaster ride to financial literacy. Income, folks. It's not just about the money in your pocket, but how you manage it. Picture this. Income is the fuel that powers your financial vehicle. It's the money you earn from various sources like your 9 to 5 job, your side gig selling handmade candles, or even that stock you invested in that's doing really well. Understanding and managing your income is crucial for your financial journey. Think about it, if you don't know how much fuel you have, how can you plan your journey? By understanding your income, you're laying the foundation for financial planning. You can set realistic goals, create a budget, and even start saving for that dream vacation. Now let's talk about making your income work for you. First, don't shy away from negotiating your salary. Remember, the worst they can say is no. Second, diversify your income streams. Don't rely solely on your day job. Consider freelancing, starting a side business, or investing. Every dollar counts. Finally, invest in yourself. Increase your earning potential through learning new skills, pursuing further education, or networking. You're your most valuable asset. Remember, it's not about how much you earn, but how you make your earnings work for you. If you're finding this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more financial wisdom expenses the necessary evil of our lives but fear not we've got some strategies up our sleeves so what exactly are expenses to put it simply expenses are the money you spend on goods and services necessary for daily living that designer coffee you can't start your day without the rent or mortgage for your cozy abode the utility bills that keep the lights on they all fall under the broad umbrella of expenses understanding where your money goes is as important as knowing where it comes from Tracking expenses gives you a clear picture of your spending habits. You might discover that you're spending an awful lot on those cute cat videos streaming subscription, or that your weekly sushi takeout is costing more than you thought. And here's another thing. Distinguishing between needs and wants can be a real game changer. That shiny new gadget might look tempting, but is it a need or a want? Needs are expenses that are essential for survival, like food and housing, while wants are things that enhance our lives but we can live without. Now, onto the exciting part, strategies to minimize expenses. Budgeting is your first line of defense. It's like a financial roadmap showing you where you need to go and how to get there. Prioritizing spending is another smart move. Focus on needs first, then see how much you can allocate for wants. And let's not forget about cutting unnecessary costs. Do you really need that gym membership if you haven't been there for months? So before you make that next impulse purchase, ask yourself, need or want? your wallet will thank you. Savings, the unsung hero of personal finance, let's give it the spotlight it deserves. Savings, in essence, is that portion of your income that you consciously set aside for future use. Think of it as your personal financial cushion, a safety net that catches you when you fall into unexpected circumstances like a job loss, medical emergencies, or even that sudden urge to take a sabbatical and travel the world. Now why are savings so important, you ask? Well, apart from offering you financial security, savings can also help you achieve your short-term and long-term financial goals. Want to buy that sleek new car? Or maybe you're planning to own a house someday? All of these can be made possible with a robust savings plan. But here's the real kicker. Savings aren't just about stashing money under your mattress. It's about making your money work for you. Ever heard of the term compounding interest? It's like a snowball effect for your savings. The money you save earns interest, and then that interest earns interest and so on. Over time, this can result in your savings growing exponentially, even if you're only able to put aside a small amount each month. So how does one go about developing a savings plan? 
Start by setting clear, achievable savings goals, then automate your savings contributions. This ensures that a portion of your income goes directly to your savings before you even have a chance to spend it. It's like tricking yourself into saving money. Clever, isn't it? Remember, savings are like seeds. Plant them now and reap the benefits later. With a solid savings plan in place, you're not just planning for the future, you're securing it. Debt, the dark cloud that hovers over many of us. But don't worry, we've got an umbrella. Let's talk about debt. It's that money you owe to creditors, be it from credit cards, loans, or mortgages. It's like that old friend who always seems to show up uninvited and overstays their welcome. Now, debt isn't inherently evil. It can even be a useful tool when managed responsibly. Think of it as a lever. It can help lift heavy weights. But if you're not careful, it can also smack you right in the face. So what's the big deal about debt? Well, it can significantly impact your personal finances. It's like carrying a backpack filled with rocks while trying to run a marathon. It slows you down, exhausts you, and can even prevent you from reaching the finish line, or in this case, your financial goals. Managing debt responsibly is crucial. Imagine being a juggler. If you keep adding more balls without knowing how to handle them, you're bound to drop them all. So how do we juggle our debts effectively? There are several strategies, including the debt snowball and debt avalanche methods. The snowball method involves paying off your smallest debts first, building momentum as you knock each one out, like a snowball growing as it rolls downhill. The avalanche method, on the other hand, focuses on paying off the debts with the highest interest rates first, like an avalanche, wiping out the most dangerous debts before they accumulate out of control. Remember, when it comes to debt, prevention is better than cure. It's easier to avoid falling into the debt pit than to climb out of it. So, let's be smart about our debt, let's treat it like a hot stove, useful but only if handled carefully. Remember, debt is like a mountain, it's easier to climb when you take it one step at a time. Investing, the name of the game for long-term financial success. Ready to play? Let's dive into the world of investments, the magical realm where your money multiplies. You see, investing is not just about stashing your cash under the mattress, it's about putting your money to work, letting it roll up its sleeves and sweat a bit in the field of assets, all with the expectation of generating returns over time. Now, why is investing so important? Well, it's like planting a seed. You nurture it, water it, and over time it grows into a fruitful tree. Similarly, investing your money today can lead to substantial growth in the future, helping you build wealth and secure your financial future. It's the golden goose of financial success, laying eggs of returns for you to relish. But wait, before you dive in, it's crucial to understand that investing isn't a one-size-fits-all scenario. There are various investment options to choose from. You've got stocks, the popular kids on the block, offering a piece of ownership in a company. You have bonds, the reliable buddies, where you lend money to a company or the government for a fixed return. Then there are mutual funds, the bundle of joy, offering a mixed bag of stocks and bonds. Don't forget about retirement accounts, the wise owls, helping you save and invest for your golden years. Investing might seem like a daunting game at first, but with a well-thought-out strategy, it can be your ticket to financial prosperity. So, are you ready to become an investing whiz? The game is on. Risk management and insurance, the safety nets we all need. Let's unravel them, shall we? Risk management is all about protecting ourselves against potential financial losses. It's like the airbag in your car. You hope you'll never need it, but when you do, you'll be glad it's there. Now, a key player in risk management is insurance. Think of insurance as your financial bodyguard, always ready to step in when life throws a curveball. Health insurance, life insurance, auto insurance, and homeowners or renters insurance, they all serve to shield you from unexpected financial shocks. But how do you know what insurance you need? Well, it's about assessing your personal circumstances. If you own a car, auto insurance is a must. Own a home, you'll want homeowners insurance, have a family who depends on your income. Life insurance should be on your list. The trick is to balance the cost of coverage with the financial protection it offers. Yes, insurance can seem like a purchase, you're paying for something you hope not to use. But consider this, the cost of insurance is often a fraction of the financial burden you'd face in the event of a major mishap. Remember, insurance isn't about expecting the worst, but being prepared for it. So, are you prepared? If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the button and subscribe to our channel for more financial wisdom. Remember, mastering your money starts with you.